Okay, tubers, this is that I promised. I don't know about promise, but anyway, this is the idea I had earlier when I was doing my video on the irrigation for the uh, strawberries, as you can see back in the back. Well, I'm carrying it to a new level. I have expanded the garden, spread it all out, actually doubled the size so I can space everything out, and I am starting to lay out the PVC. I will be running one down each row except in this middle where I walk in you'll see how I'm going to do that in a minute um, and I'm going to um, try and cover this whole thing and see how it works uh, with drilling the 1 16th inch holes every uh, I just kind of space them out and, and put the hole right above where the are just to the side of where the um, plant goes into the ground and the root systems are and hopefully uh, this will all drip straight down into these containers all the way down and all the way around but anyway I'll show you what I got as I go and um, then I'll show you the finished product if it works Hey tubers, well, last night it was too dark to show the rest of this, but I did get it all laid out and uh, actually I finished it. Um, got a couple little things I can still have to do, so it's not that finished, but uh, it's working. Um, I laid out the, the all of the pipe, all of that PVC pipe, and uh, as I laid each one across the top of the um, the buckets or the containers, whatever case they may be. I marked them with a, uh, uh, actually I used a dry erase marker, to mark the spot where I wanted to drill the hole. And um, I, after that, I kind of, I used the side, and I'll show you here, excuse me. I use the side of the uh, pipe that has the writing on it to keep everything straight. I would lay it on there with this side up, every bit of it. And I would line it all up to where I could put the holes for each plant right in the middle of one of those writings. So everything was straight. So everything is, is running straight up and down. I've got it over the... Uh, for the most part, it's in it's in the middle of the container. Um, I've I've left myself a little room here in the middle. I didn't put anything in here, uh, but so I could kind of move around. I may put some stuff in here later, but at this point, I just uh, left it open. It's kind of easy. None of this stuff is glued together. I've just snapped it in place, and. Um, and it works. I've got it set to run uh, for two minutes every six hours right now. I may change that. I may tune that down to every 12. It just depends on how wet it gets. We got a lot of rain last night. That's where all this water came from. Uh, but um, we'll see. Try to try to conserve some water. So I'll turn it off for today if we're going to have a lot of rain. But found a few squash bugs I've been um, killing those and um, I actually just put some um, of that diatomaceous earth or whatever it's called diatomaceous diatomaceous I don't know anyway I put the, some of that on a few of these plants it says it kills crawling bugs so um, I may put some more on here I've got a yellow squash They're about ready to pick right there it's so wet I don't want to get back in there even though I'm, I'm walking on tarps because I'm getting ready to go to work. But um, I'll show you how this thing works a little later on this afternoon. Ah, heck. I may go ahead and turn it on and just let you see what it does. There's my buddy. I'm going to have to put something up on the top. Uh, the birds, I've been moving them around, but the birds are eating my strawberries nonetheless. 
I think they're getting brave. Okay, tubers. Uh, started and stopped. Started and stopped. A couple of these videos, because uh, I ran into a couple of problems. I wasn't getting enough water pressure um, around the backside, so I, I've, I've run two entry points into this configuration. I'll show you that in just a second. But this is the layout. I have um, sort of a grid uh, worked out. I've, I've, uh, I've made sure that each area is getting should be getting equal pressure now. Uh, so I'll fire that up in just a minute. But I wanted to show you how it was laid out. I got my squash, and then I got peppers and broccoli and cauliflower and watermelons, and then then I start my tomatoes and my get some more. Um, I think that's my blueberries and my blackberry I mean my grapes and I believe my eggplants over there and I got my uh, cucumbers along that back wall and then there's all those different varieties of tomato um, but anyway I want to show you what how I, I'm doing this on this side I have an entry uh, and a water source coming in and this is what it looks like basically I just bought a little connector um, looks like this let's see if I'll take this off so you'll know what you're looking for these aren't easy to find this has just got a little a slip uh, to three quarters and PVC thread and on the other side it has the thread for a hose um, it's just a couple bucks for the whole setup there, but tighten that down. Put a little um, tape, some pipe tape on it, or flux tape, whatever. And this um, this turns freely, so that you can put your hose up in there. And let's try this one-handed. It isn't going to be easy. I may need to put some tape on that too. But see, you can kind of just tighten your hose down without twisting your holes all up. Anyway, that should be good and tight. Now that's going to end up putting some the equal pressure to this side. I was I was getting a little less pressure on this side because I had the water having to travel all the way from over here and I'm only running it for about 2 minutes. So by the time it pressured out everywhere, that side over there was getting kind of gypped. See, this is where it did come in. I've got the same the same setup there and I have them both running back to a splitter right there I just got a little splitter set set up um, I need to change this hose out with the black one I see I've got that wrong right now that this is the one that feeds the um, the this is the one that feeds this is the one that feeds the strawberries so I gotta change this out the green should come here and the black over there anyway I'll get that squared away and then I'll turn it on and show you how she works sorry for the noise I'm cooking out some chicken too so I gotta keep my eyes on that be right back all right, tubers. Just wanted to uh, show you my setup on my timers. I have everything coming off of one side of a splitter on this, off of this bib. Um, I have a, you know, my my regular hose that I use for um, uh, for my gardening and just spraying and washing the dogs, whatever we do. Uh, that's off of one side, and then I have these two timers. Uh, this timer controls the main garden. This one is just a hose that comes off of it, and this controls the strawberry plants. Um, these are twice a day uh, for about a minute. This is, let's see, uh, two times two minutes every every six hours. You see that? 
every six hours it'll go two minutes and it was set to go start at midnight so at, at, mid, at 12 and 6 every morning and uh, noon and night this thing goes off so uh, it'll be going off here in about I don't know, 11 minutes and at that point I'll show you um, how it works. We'll both see how it works. I could actually do it manually, but since it's in 11 minutes, I think I'll just um, I'll just wait, let it do its thing. I'm uh, just going to show you this too. I did swap this out, so now we got the right setup. And uh, in about 10 minutes, we'll look at what's going on. Okay, tubers, I missed it. I didn't um, I had some issue going on with my chicken had to get to it and um, frankly I can start this anytime so let's just start it manually make sure it's only two minutes and uh, we'll go show you what it does yeah I don't want to ruin this barbecue chicken my wife's really been tasting it and wanting some chicken so I want to make sure that I take care of that for her um, Anyway, this should come on any second, and we'll kind of just listen for it. There it goes. See, I've got it running into each one of these. It's a little faster than the other, but it is dripping in every one of them. people I would call this a success it's running in there there looks like all my tomatoes are getting good watering it's over here yeah, they're starting to turn red Romans are doing amazing job there. Yeah, I'm I'm excited about this. There you go, people. This cost me about I don't know, sixty bucks maybe, and it's uh, I don't have to worry about watering my plants all summer I'll stay wet and I'm not wasting any of the water hope it helped somebody and you know if y'all find an improvement I do have to raise that up though it's it's kind of sagging in, in the middle but if you find any improvements any uh, ways to make this better it just shut off two minutes um, give me a shout none of this is glued together I can use this over and over again, kind of set it up. I even wrote uh, how far I had some of the stuff spaced apart on there so I know what I can put in that next time. Uh, so anyway, if you got any comments, put them below. Um, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. God bless. Y'all go play in the wet dirt. That would be mud. God bless.